Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your February 2024 general monthly reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I just want to give a big thank you, a big shout out. Thanks to everyone who has booked personal readings, who has kept me busy, who came to see me at the last Mystic Market. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you and all of your support. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, I only have a few dates left this month. The link is in the description box down below. I may not open any more until maybe the like last week of February into moving into March and then probably not again until like the end of March. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot. If you are new to me, welcome. I do read intuitively. Three of Swords flew out, so I'm going to put this one to the side. I do read intuitively, so don't just go based off what you see on the table, my friends. I do channel throughout the entire reading. I've been a little under the weather, so you're, that's why your February reading's a little late. And I've had like a really bad cough, and it is a B word. I'm just going to say it that way, trying to clean up my language here. It is a B word to record, pause, edit, remove the segments of every time I cough. So please forgive me if I need to do that this time around. So in order to get everyone's readings out for February, I decided just to shorten them just a little bit so that I can get through all 12 zodiac signs. And um, please don't mind the cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, and let's get to it. Your major arcana is the Justice and the Moon card here, supported by the Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. And while I was going through my intro, the Three of Swords came out. I do feel like the Three of Swords is like this lingering energy. This doesn't feel prominent like right this second you're like deep in the throes of something like this. I do know my Pisces friends have really been going through it for the last few years. It's this release, rebirth, release, rebirth, processing a lot of things that you've had to endure. And I, I'm hearing somebody here say like, how much more of this do I have to go through, right? Now that I'm going to, I'm definitely going to acknowledge that there are a lot of you that have been there, done that, moved on from it. Probably that part of this reading doesn't resonate with you because you're like over and done with. You've healed. You've moved on. You've done everything you needed to do to really change your life around. And to those of you, let those other Pisces that are still going through, give them give them something in the comments, please. Let them know everything's going to be okay. Give them some sort of hint, an idea, something that has really helped you heal get through it whatever it is that has helped you i know everybody's journey is different we all learn we all know we all listen we all heal differently healing is not linear neither are our lessons that we have gone through in this lifetime and so the moon card and the justice card here really does feel like this energy of like I said, I feel like someone's strongly saying, how much more of this can I endure? How many more lessons will I be will I be closing, cycles being ended? And at the same time, it's like, I feel like you're even questioning, like, I didn't sign up for this or I didn't agree to all this that you've been going through. It's like this really deep healing, emotional transformation I feel like there is some of you that have some deep emotional wounds, trusted the wrong people. Um, I just heard fell for their facade, fell for their breadcrumbing energy. Um, and so it's been quite difficult for you to really completely move past it. I'm not saying your life has been on hold and you haven't done anything with your life. I don't feel that at all. But I feel like it's taken a lot of courage to continue to live the life, to continue to have the life that you want for yourself. And now I just feel like you're all about fast results. Like I'm over and done with this nine of wands, this wounded warrior, especially with this three of swords this is why I feel like this is old energy, but it's also lingering energy. It's needing to completely rip off the bandaid. It's needing to rip up pull away, tear away, 
completely cut any type of energetic, karmic, soul ties, cords, whatever it is, whether it's replaying the same lesson with the same person or it's just the same lesson over and over again, just in a different, with a different being every time, right? A different person, a different connection, a different situation, but yet the same lesson each time. I really feel like at some point, in your life, Pisces, whether this is the energy that you're feeling right now or this was recently, it just feels like you're so distraught that like at this point, almost anything can push you towards a breakdown, emotional breakdown. And I feel like you don't give yourself enough time to really go through it and let it go. It's like, let me just wrap this up. I can't feel this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to do that right now. I'm not, I'm not feeling this right now. I don't want to, I don't want to cry. I don't want to like, I don't want to acknowledge it. And so like, you kind of like tuck it back in. But I feel like spirit is saying it's time to do the work. If, you, if you've put work into other things, other situations, other relationships, or work towards helping others, it's time for you to put the work towards yourself. Two of Wands with the Eight of Wands. So you do have two Eights here. Two of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Yes, you're at a crossroads. You know you have to like get up and go like right away. There's also communication that needs to be had. Where you're finally putting a specific relationship, partnership, chapter to an end. You're vocalizing let me pull a couple of cards here for the three of swords. What else does Pisces need to know for the three of swords? Yeah, it's, 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 you got three eights now. So eight, 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 but it is that feeling of it's time for me to work on me, pour into me, bring myself back to life, bring myself back to center, feel finally feeling grounded within myself giving myself the safe space to heal, to grow, walking away from people, places, things that no longer serve me. Oh, and I just heard that never served you, honey. So I'm getting like this, I'm just going to say it nicely, but like this tinge of anger of like, why did I keep going as far as I did? Why did I keep myself connected, involved, you know, immersed in this person's negativity or games or whatever it was, right? For some of you, it's a job, a toxic work environment where you know it's going to hurt to leave those that mean something to you, to leave them behind, but you've got to do what you got to do for your own mental health and well-being. I'm hearing you're this is your opportunity to save yourself. So maybe for some of you, it's really that bad. I'm also hearing the words blind justice. You know that there are certain things that have not come to the surface. You, you know, Pisces, your intuition is super strong. Trust it. And I feel if you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, if you're waiting for someone's lies or the extent of their lies and betrayal and the way they mislead people, misled you or and or others, I feel like you want to take a step back and just allow the universe to trip them up and let them fall in their face, you know? Tell me about the moon card here for Pisces, please. Ten of Pentacles. This could be around finances. Someone may have stolen from you. Someone may be keeping money from you. You could be going to court over money, someone who did you wrong. I do feel like you want this case closed, like over and done with. You want to be able to keep what you've worked so hard for. 
but you know that the minute that you make this decision and the the judgment is in your favor oh my god you've got to completely shut them out turn your back to them 100 percent. you can never rekindle that connection anymore and i'm hearing that's actually the hardest part of it all having to completely separate ties with someone what is the overall outcome that pisces can expect here five of cups knight of cups someone will be asking for forgiveness if it's you for turning your back on them I feel like for some of you, there is guilt behind this decision of needing to turn your back on someone, needing to walk away, needing to set boundaries. Especially if it's a family member and you're just like, I've done all I can to help you. But I cannot sacrifice my own well-being any longer. So I do feel like someone here could be you know, almost begging and pleading, asking for forgiveness, trying to, you know, please don't let this go this far. I just, I'm seeing someone almost like literally just begging you on their knees. Don't let this get to this point. Someone's here very, very scared and fearful of losing you completely. But I feel like that has already happened. You're slowly but surely detaching from the situation. Give me some good news, something good, something positive for Pisces. I feel like this is a difficult situation that you've endured for quite some time. And so some of you are closing out this type of cycle. I don't feel like this is full on like in the middle of this journey playing out at this time. I feel some of you are either at, I definitely feel like some of you are like closing out that cycle. You're at the end stage of that while others of you are kind of teetering back and forth, like wondering what to do, what your next move is, what your next step is. Beautiful. The emperor card, four of wands and the seven of wands. Yeah. Protect your peace, my friend, protect your family, protect your happily ever after, whatever that may be. That four of wands and another four here because the emperor is the four card. Number four, I should say. Major Arcana, the Emperor. This is taking back control of your life. But this is also needing to almost be in charge of everything that has to do with the household. It's 444 on my clock also. So that could be significant for you. That angel number. But the Emperor really is about like being this leader Knowing that at this point, if you've allowed something that maybe you wish you hadn't, if some, if you've endured something or if your family has had to endure something or it just feels like it's dragged out and you're just like, that's it. I should have taken control a long time ago. I should have made the appropriate steps, the appropriate moves to make these changes for my family, for myself, for my household, for my health and well-being. Four of Wands really, you know, I love this energy of, you know, happy family, getting together, union and reunion. And this is also known as the 1111 card. So maybe for some of you that is significant for you. I do feel like if you are in this energy of protecting your household, your children, your family, your well-being, protecting your assets, um, again, those of you that are going through like divorce, separation or some sort of legal judgment the seven of wands is definitely saying along with the four of wands and the emperor that you are in a good place to be able to uphold this to stand your ground stand for what you believe in and do what's right overall i feel like let's see how far are we into this reading i promised i would make these short so that i can get to everyone's readings and i'm halfway through <laughs> because you know I can read forever, but I've got the other half of the Zodiac I have to read for. Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. Oh, if I didn't mention it at the beginning. Uh-huh. If I didn't mention it at the beginning, 
I will be doing a bonus love reading at your mid month, so make sure you guys are stay stay tuned for that. Sorry, I'm like jumbled up on my words here. It's kind of hard to like channel speak when you're under like <laughs> cold medication and um, cough drop in your mouth. Try not to like spit it out and try not to it come out in the reading. So you have the card of self-worth here. So definitely a reminder for standing up for what you believe in. Spirit is saying it is important for you to really work on your self-worth. What you're, what you truly uphold for you to truly uphold yourself in this energy of self-worth what you're deserving of and absolutely what you are not deserving of you're not deserving of some bs of some someone lying cheating stealing you know making sacrifices with your household your income with your mental health and well-being right someone who just comes and goes and maybe is manipulative at times you know that you have to save yourself from it and by doing that you'd have to maybe pull away detach turn your back on them now if this is in regards to love and you are wondering if that was your like one and only true love and how can this be over i do feel like there is new love that will be coming in you may experience some fear and anxiety in the process of it of course because like i said some of you have been doing some healing work and releasing old karmic cycles and chapters so yes new love will be coming in know your worth in the process of course work through the fear and anxiety in whatever area this may be in your life um, but also know when that fear and anxiety is how do i say this is a true warning by your intuition or self-imposed, right? You will be experiencing some epiphanies along the way. And I think that's going to be very, very important for you guys as you go through that. And so <laughs> don't be surprised if you are accused of being the runner here. If this is a, you know, twin flame situation, if you are the one that's running away from this whole situation, as they would say, However, I wouldn't necessarily call it running away if you know that what you're doing is for your highest good and your own mental health and well-being. It's for you to protect your peace, protect yourself along the way. They could be running from taking accountability and just saying what needs to be said and all the while calling you the runner. So keep that in mind if somebody here is playing mind games, okay? So let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you guys think her <laughs> definitely feel like some of you are definitely stuck in your thoughts wondering what to do next what is the next step for you look at that card number 44 oh <coughs> excuse me sorry card number 44 i'm really trying to get through these readings guys bear with me i apologize <clears throat> You could be going through this moment in time where you know that you have just like tried to resolve so many situations you've thought and overthought and just had like period of, I just heard absolution, but that's not the word I was going for. So maybe that word means something to you as I was channeling. But I feel like for some of you, it's just like this moment in time where you're just like, what more can I do? What is my only option? Because I feel like at this point in your life, you feel like you've run out of options. I feel like you've even gotten creative with how you make your next move. You may be afraid of certain backlash coming through. I'm going to end this reading here because you guys know I can read forever and I don't want to do super long readings as I do need to get through the rest of the Zodiac. But I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much for being here. Remember to give it a thumbs up, guys. And I will have a mid-month love bonus for you for Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful February, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.